So today's video is not about this 2024 Porsche 911 Carrera T, but today's video inspired me to interview owners and drivers of vehicles such as this one, and I was lucky enough to drive it. So you can see this full review in the next episode, in my first episode of a new series called Sick Whips. So enjoy today's video, and look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. So something I don't normally do is take you guys along for the local car scene here in Austin, Texas. But today I think I really am gonna change that about the channel. I'm actually on my way to the petrol lounge, which is where people store their high-end cars, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Porsches, I mean, you name it. And they're having their 10 year anniversary. And somehow I got into the main show with my Drift Mustang, but I'm not going alone. So here's my Drift Mustang, I'm fueling up. But also, Isaac got into the show with his Drift Mustang. I have no idea how we got in <laughs> to a show. I guess they heard something about drift cars and they were like, you know what, why not? Okay, I gotta ask you, when you, okay, when you submitted your thing, did you put Drift Mustang? No, I didn't. Oh, I did. <laughs> I, I, did I, I was like, I was like, I'm gonna be sneaky, sneaky in with the drift car. And you put just 20, what years? 11 Ford Mustang GT. Oh no, I put Ford Mustang drift car, fresh build. <laughs> Yeah, no, I was like, I'm getting in, dude. Yeah, so we're gonna finish fueling up and then we gotta roll in and stage the cars. So, oh, not to mention it was pouring rain the whole way here. My car was clean and then it got dirty. Yeah, 100%, like, you know my car doesn't move. Now it's, I can see all the dirt, I mean, it's whatever. It doesn't matter. It's a drift car. It doesn't matter, it's a, it's a drift car, Isaac said it. But, oh, also, you haven't really shown the change in your car. No, I have not. Okay, you know what? We're gonna hit him with cinematics, all right? Here we go. All right, so we're, we're walking around a little bit and we're looking around and Isaac and I can't help but to wonder, again, how we got in here. The class of cars here are absolutely insane. I mean, right now I'm looking at a bunch of Porsches, like a rally Porsche. Uh, forgive me, I'm not big into the Porsche scene just yet, but back there is a Ford GT that I've been eyeballing because that is one of my dream cars. All right, let's, um, I got you got this Ford GT. I want to check out the Audi R8. All right, let's start with the Audi R8. Well, which one? There's three. Like three. The one with no bumper. The one with no bumper. Oh, yeah, yeah. The one everyone's standing around. Yes. So did I ever tell you the first time I saw a Ford GT? No. So, I mean, it was when they first came out, 06. I don't even know how old I was, but we were at the dealership and there was a Gulf livery Ford GT in Daytona, Florida. And I remember looking at the car and I hate to admit this, but I was like, bro, that car is hideous. Who would paint a car those colors? <laughs> and now I was become a car guy. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. Like, I'm an idiot. It's like, now we like need it. I mean, what was I, like in freaking eighth grade, sixth grade? Oh. I still didn't really know about cars. But now that I know what it is, this is hands down one of my dream cars right here. You're just tall, so you gotta watch out about it cutting off your head. Oh yeah. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I've never actually sat in one either, but yeah. right, let's check it out. Yeah, this is just one of those cars that is just, I mean, it's just so clean looking. Big blower in the back. So nice. Golly. Wait a minute, I just see, I saw a Daytona Ford sticker on here. Daytona International Speedway, January 2016 Ford Corral. I mean, it's good this car is being driven around and being shown. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's using it. Yeah, it's got brake dust on the wheels. I mean, he's using it, which is, which is great. Bro, if this channel blows up, I'm buying a Ford GT. You know what? I second that. You second that? Yeah, second it's, that. it's. I mean, it's the same as the Shelby, right? The five four. Five supercharged. Yeah, five eight is the 2013, 2014. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be five four. You know what? Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below. You know I'm Puerto Rican, right? Bro, I love this Honda over here. <laughs> this thing is so freaking clean. 
EK hatch. And it's right hand drive, dude. Right hand drive, carbon hood, Recaro's. Oh man, that's really clean. Yeah, this is dope. Running around to the back. It's clean, man. Clean EK. I like that. Right hand drive. Man, more and more stuff keeps pulling up. Cybertruck. This is the only city in America where you see a billion Cybertrucks oh, back 100%. to back to back. I wonder why. I just met this gentleman, what's your name? Jason. Jason, I'm Brian, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, buddy. He just handed me the keys to his Jeep 392. I can't make this up, like I just met the guy. <laughs> oh, it's the dealerships, okay. Very familiar with all that. It's crazy how different, oh, look at this screen. 392 embroidered into the seats. Oh, I am. Yes, sir. Let me, uh, who was driving, you or her? Uh, she said in it. She, she said, said it. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, 392 Jeep for startup. <laughs> Buddy. Bro, that's kind of sick. <laughs> so here's the best part. So hit this exhaust button. Ooh, this one? Yep. Now give it a couple reps. Okay, it's kind of quiet. Okay, now hit the exhaust button again. Now give it a couple reps. That's that's stock. Yeah. What the? Stock. Dude, that's sick. Yeah. No, this is this is different. This is the first time I've sat in the 392. And it does have the Alpine sound system and everything. So there's a 10 inch subwoofer in the back. Dude. If I also make it on YouTube, I'm buying one of these as well. <laughs> Dude, this thing is sick. All right, so shout out to Jason over at the local Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. He actually brought this from the dealership and I learned a lot of things about these Wrangler 392s. And we were joking, cause I'm like right behind me is a Lamborghini. And I got stoked about a Wrangler 392. But the reality is I haven't seen one yet or driven one. Um, but yeah, it's got an exhaust mode button, as you might have heard, it makes it louder or quieter. Uh, he's got 455 gears in the rear end, and it's got a bunch of other really neat features. Um, price point? A lot. But this is a pretty sick ride. I like all the little details, like the gold 392 here, where it says Rubicon, it's outlined in gold as well. Even the trail rated 4x4 emblems are also gold, as you can see right there. So yeah, I mean, you guys know me, I like my Jeeps. This one is certified badass. All right, so I'm eating not a damn chance burger on the roof of my car. I feel bad because people are trying to take pictures of the car. Yeah? He two. He had a Windvale Blue and um, Windvale Blue is the light one. I think so. This is my first three valve. Oh, okay. Yeah, and he had a dark blue one. Yeah, I, I went from a Challenger wide body. Yeah to make this a drift car. And when I first got this car, I'm the second owner, 220,000 miles. And I started driving it. I was like, this is, I mean, it's slow, but it's really good. I enjoy driving this car a lot. They have like good torque stock too. Yeah, dude. But like I raced a Honda Accord, uh, he left me. And I was like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, no, it's a ton of fun. I mean, um, so we got Dreamers of Drift in Austin. Uh, local drift event and then we have uh, down south by San Antonio it's um, River City Drift they do it at this place called the ranch it's like a military training facility um, it's a really big track I haven't been there yet but those are the kind of the two spots right now and if we really want to uh, Houston you've got Lone Star Drift Series as well so but yeah this is my first time driving it on the street this far probably my last <laughs> nice ride. appreciate it But yeah, I'm about to eat my, woohoo, my cheeseburger. Oh, dude, this is life.
I've been looking forward to this cheeseburger all day. The guy asked me how many do I want, I should have said two. Mm. Now I feel like it's one of those eating channels. Isaac ordered something special, so he's waiting over there. Speaking of golf livery for GT that I mentioned earlier, <laughs> here's one right now. This one, all oh, my favorite ones are in the back. Dude, actually look right there in the back is the five, you see it? I wonder if we walk over that way, we can see it some more. Yeah. Dude, this is freaking nuts. And all these are private, privately owned cars, right? I think so, yeah. This is freaking, this is a supercar meet. All right, I'm gonna look over here. Lamborghini Countach. This right here, Celine. Yeah, so if you guys don't know, if you go deep in my channel, you'll see where I did some work with Celine for King of the Hammers and the Ford Lightning and a Ford Maverick for Toyota Tread Pass uh, at one of the SEMAs. Oh my God, bro, what? That's like a straight up race car. They have an F40? Look at this. Bro, I also see the freaking Batmobile. So it's a CJ5 up there. No, mine's a 7. I would point out, let's see if I can. Right up there is a CJ5. And that looks like a K5 Blazer or a Jimmy. I'm, I don't know my Chevrolets too much. Um, but dude, that Jeep actually has some super fat tires. Dude, that thing, I wanna see that Jeep, bro. I'm coming back here. That thing needs to be front and center. Buddy. It looks like a modern Ferrari. When it comes to my Ferraris, I am not uh, very well versed. Oh, oh man, I know this one though. Oh yeah. Or is it a what? Because I know the F40s are a little bit more blocky. Yeah, this is, bro. This is super blocky. You know who would love being here? Jordan. Oh, 100%. Because of all the Porsches. That's my favorite spec. So right there with the green driving. Oh yeah, what spec is that? I have no idea, but I like the green. Okay, it's got <laughs> it's, it's got the guy's Instagram handle on it. Oh, it's not. Oh, no, I it is an F40, bro. I told you it's the blockiest one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll get on a wraparound. Dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I would say something like, like, this is the Bugatti I can afford, but this is probably, no. I still can't afford it. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is so freaking crazy, bro. They had chrome leaf springs. I mean, I, again, don't, at the end of the day, Bugatti. That's pretty cool. What? <laughs> That's cool. That's wicked. Dang, bro. Got that crank start in the front. Oh my God, that is an LFA. Oh, it was a Gallardo, not a Murcielago. Hold on, dude. Have you ever seen an LFA in person? No. This camera doesn't zoom in that much, but no, I've never seen an LFA in person. I've never seen an LFA and I, and I can only see the headlight. Oh, shoot, STL behind me. And Sterato. Oh, no, yeah, we'll, get, we'll get on the wraparound. We'll get on the wraparound. See Lamborghini, Lamborghini. NSX? That is an NSX. First gen bike or second gen? Uh, first gen. What is that Mustang on the other side? Is that red one? The red one? Uh, it could be. 
Yep, NSX. Viper. Ooh, I see an old Mustang over there. Yes, I do. There's another one over there. Lamborghini Urus. Looks like a Boss 302 Mustang. There's the RX-7, dude. Right next to the Ford GT. Dude, that is like the cleanest FD RX-7 ever. That's like my brother's dream car. He's had like a first gen, a Turbo 2 RX-7, but he'd never had an FD. The Golf livery Ford GT. I know, the one that I said was, who would buy that? Now look at me. Wishing my parents would have bought it. <laughs> I haven't seen one of these in person yet. Yeah. I like it. I mean, all these cars, when I look at them, it was that STO behind it? What is that? I mean, I, I'm looking at all these cars now in person. Like, I typically see them on Forza Horizon. Yeah. And now I'm seeing them in person, and I'm like, bro, what am oh, I doing with my life? Bugatti over there. I got chills looking at that one. I was like, yeah. what the hell? Like, you said, bro, is that a Bugatti? <laughs> Show is. 911 Turbo S. This is, like, clean, contemporary. It's just, you can't go wrong. It's the good, like, daily driver sports car. I think we're both vlogging at the same time. STO. Yeah, that's that's the nice. Tech, uh, the back there. Yeah, dude. The rally ready. And then a four five eight behind. That's the Ferrari that, oh, that I do like. They look the same to me. Again, the internet's gonna tear me apart, but I'll tell you. I'll tell you one thing. I do know, bro. That's a Ford F one fifty Raptor R, buddy, right there. There we go. Hey, man, that's still a Raptor R, bro. That's true. Don't hate on it. Do you have a Raptor R? I don't have a Raptor R. <laughs> I said, I know that, and that was a Bronco Raptor behind it, too. I know those. Yep. All right, here we go again. All right. these, are, these are just beautiful cars. And when I think of a Ventador, I really think of Batman. Batman. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say it. <laughs> He's the one that put that car on the map for me. I was like, buddy, what is that? So I think his was actually the prototype. The so, so what movie was that though? That's the one with the Joker. Dark Knight. I think it's Dark Knight Begins. Dark. I'm a nerd. Okay, we're gonna look it up yes. and look that fun fact up that it was a prototype uh, Lamborghini. I think it was. I could be very, very wrong, and I think I am. But when you find it, let me know. Yes. I wish some. I wish some of these cars were a little more front and center. That looks so wicked, dude. Something just happened to me where something just happened to me where I saw that car and like. It's the first supercar I've looked at, and I've and I want it. Oh, 100 percent. That's what is it? The Aventador SVJ. SVJ. Yes. Super Veloce. And the Ferrari 458. I like those. That one. I think it's just the matte black looks so sinister. It's mean. That's, I wish it had the SVJ on the side because that looks to me it looks insanely good. Especially in some. Now, now I'm gonna start looking those up, bro. So many cars that I want. 650 grand. Oh my god, that 4 GT is going up there in that price too. Oh yeah. There we go. See, this looks clean. And you can't go wrong with black and gold. No. God, dude, so many for... I wonder how much money is underneath the roof of this freaking building. Yeah, bro. Oh, they got two. One spider and one guy. Mmm. Oh, look at the green one right there. Oh, yeah. This is James. He runs Dreamers of Drift in Austin. Bam, the next event. 21st. Gonna, the 21st, we're going to be out there. And the Mustang, James. Thank you for, thank you for everything you do, and thanks for the stickers. And there she is. And I'm not talking about Mariah. I'm talking about the new Porsche. Yeah. Take it from, take it from the top. 01, 996 turbo, built to kind of look like a GT2 race car. It's all stock except for exhaust and intake, but fully track setup for suspension. Sits on slicks. It. Um, Full arrow, all that good stuff. It's only got like 
35,000 miles on it and probably the cheapest 996 turbo you could buy. We bought it to build it for SEMA, so it is going to have a miles work wide body on it. Some sick ass E6 forged custom wheels that we're designing. They'll be 13 inches wide in the back. It's gonna be pretty oh nasty. God. Yeah, they're fat. The whole kit's fat for miles work. Um, and hopefully we'll uh, display it at SEMA and get a big uh, wow factor out of it. And see where it goes. And then we're gonna come back here and track the shit out of it. Yeah, if there's anything that I know about you is that you find the weaknesses in everything. Yeah, yeah. I gotta drive everything fast to the extreme, but I'm really digging the car. It's it's a driver's car. It really yeah. is. It's probably the best bang for buck. If you can get one at a good deal, they just, they're something good about it. You need to drive it. It's kind of tricky with the clutch. It's got a stage two clutch, and it has this weird assist from like the braking and steering that ties in the clutch. It's a weird system. But once you get it down, it's, it's pretty fun. I still saw the shit out of it, and I never saw cars. It's, it's tricky. You know, it's funny, when you first showed me the car, you were already at the Harris Hill racing it. <laughs> that's the, that's yeah. the first time I saw it. Okay. You were like, oh, by the way, and then bam. I'm, you know, I'm just gonna put the pictures in the video. Those are the first pictures that I got of this car. But I'm excited uh, to see the conversion and see everything change up for SEMA this year. Well guys, that was nothing short of intense. That was probably Isaac. That's probably the craziest car meet I've I've ever been to. This oh, has 100%. been this has been the craziest where you at? Craziest yeah. car meet I've ever been to. It's crazy because there were so many supercars and sports cars. Oh sorry, excuse me. And like us two misfits show up in a drift car and then we had Dylan come up with his drift car. I mean, Dylan showed up in a drift car, oh, that 240 cool. showed yeah. up in a drift car. And, and that's the thing that's so cool about it. I, I would say like Austin car culture is like, yeah, dude, like we're starting to like diverse. diverse, bro. Like drift car, yeah, you're in. Porsche GT3 RS that I'm looking at right there, you're in. Yeah. I mean, it's like, but it also makes you want to shoot for more. Dude, I wish I could afford a 992 GT3 RS because those things are so beautiful. And seeing two in person today is just insane. Yeah, and not to mention we saw an F40. Old Bugatti. Old Bugatti, I, I mean. I and I know, I, and I know, <laughs> the old Bugatti. And I know it sounds super silly, but being that, being able to jump into that Wrangler 392, which they're dude, they're not cheap. They're like 90 grand. 97,000. It had it on the sticker price, 97,600 something. 97,600 dollars for that 392 Jeep Wrangler, which at that point at that MSRP, that's more than I paid for my TRX when I had it, mm -hmm. which is just insane. But I mean, again, being able to jump in it and kind of experience it a little bit, it's like, it's one of those things like touching your goals. I wish I would have talked to more supercar owners and been like, yo, can I sit in it? Dude, yes. I've never sat in, I've only sat in one Ferrari 430. I'm, I mean, that's still something, but I've never sat but in But you know what, dude? We know Jesse and Jesse's got like three Porsches. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we need to get with him and see if he'll let us drive one. Yes, I got it. Amigo, what do I owe this honor to? Oh, what we got here? Uh, can I put this on top? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, well, I don't own a Lamborghini. That's not me. Oh, dude, look at that. Oh, it's so hard to show. It's so dark. Yeah, light it up. Dude, you are the man, bro. And you took this photo today. I took it today and I printed it today. And you, and you printed it today on site. What's your uh, what's your social? What's your Instagram? Uh, Instagram is Stills by Dro. That is plural on Stills, and the website is Drift Water Style. Okay, so you I are gonna. The Z. I'm the yellow taxi. La taxi oh, car. dude, oh, that's oh, you. Yeah. Really? Yeah, dude. Oh what man. <laughs> so now he's like, do you remember this car drifting at Dreamers of Drift? I remember this car, and I saw the green tent. And I okay. I saw a bunch of comrades around, you know. Turtle, and then I was like, maybe that could have been you. This one was naked last okay. time. Last time I took uh, it. I don't remember this car. Yeah. But the, yeah, the livery totally changes it. If, it, if I did kind of. Oh yeah, it looks so different for sure. But dude, you got some talent there. I really appreciate that. Let me, uh, yeah, let me get my photo. Let me get that photo, bro. On on site photo printing. I love it. That's so freaking. Dude, I just kicked your dog. I'm so sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. It's okay.
All right, guys. So it's a couple days after the supercar meet down at Petrol Lounge, and that was that was really interesting. That was very exciting, but it actually opened up my eyes. And that's that. I I really don't know a lot about a lot of these other car brands and companies, and these are a lot of just really amazing drivers' cars. Otherwise, they wouldn't have the fan base that they have. So got to thinking. There's an idea that I've had for a while now, and that's to feature you guys, your builds, your cars, the community you're a part of and just showcase what you've done. To me, creative freedom and working on cars is a form of that creative freedom expression. And that's why I love working on my cars and working and making them the way I want them to. And I decided to launch a video series called Sick Whips. And I reached out to a friend of mine that actually owns a Porsche 911 Carrera T. Now I reached out to him and I said, hey man, I just left this supercar meet, the petrol lounge, 10 year anniversary. And I realized I don't know a lot about a lot of cars and brands. And I would love to kick off the series with you and your car because I know you're knowledgeable. You are very passionate about Porsche. He was a Mustang guy before. And I think you're the perfect candidate to really kick off the series. And I've already started lining up a bunch of other people to get their stories, their passions, where they started, where they're at, and where they're going. So we actually just finished wrapping up our filming and it was a total blast. I feel like I have not done myself the due diligence in experiencing other cars and other brands. I've stickly stru stuck to American muscle, American made. And don't get me wrong, it's it's fun. Supercharged V8s, big body cars, I, I love it. Supercharged trucks, my off-road rigs, I'm um, a big classic guy. And yeah, after today's video, I realized like, wow, there's a whole nother world out there that I haven't tapped into. Um, so you guys are gonna see my friend Billy Hawkins and his Porsche 911 Carrera T. And then we're going to do some stuff with Jesse from Hellabad Garage. He's got, he's a big Porsche guy. And if there's anybody that knows their Porsches and BMWs, it's him. So we're going to feature, feature all these rides on the channel. So do me a favor. You want to see those cars? You want to see me lose my mind? Today I drove the Porsche. It was a ton of fun. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave a comment below. Let me know what kind of cars you want to see. And if you got a sick car and you're the Austin area, hit me up. I would love to feature you. I would love to show your car and see what you built with your hands. But that's going to wrap up today's video, guys. I appreciate you watching. I can't wait to show you this video with Billy's Porsche. I mean, I think I'm just still kind of in awe and starstruck of driving that Porsche. Um, I think you guys are going to like it. So that's it for me, guys. Let's get ready for uh, this drift event coming up, and we'll go from there. Till then, peace out.